nothing but nice faces around here. You treat our home just as you would treat your own. Breakfast is at six, dinner's at nine. Well played, honey. You too, sweet ass. Well, I can't thank you enough. The cold ain't kind and God knows we need the rest. Mm, we'd never deny the company. Matt and I have been lonely since our kids went off to school. Oh, you have children? Mm, darling, we love children. That is so great. Do you have any photos of your children? Sure. Come take a look in the basement with me. We want to see your kids. Let's take a spin. <gasps> Mildred! Lord, forgive me. It's too late for that, hon. Poor DoorDash! Good evening, sir. Is this the Hart family inn? Is the Pope Catholic? <laughs> a jester and a gentleman. I was wondering if you had any room for a weary traveler to escape this dreadful cold. Is it just you? Uh oh, it's just me and my dancing shoes. You know me, old Chester Rogers. Why don't you come on in? Wife's making some supper. Come on in. What's your name again, Traveler? Chester. Chester Rogers. Chester, nice to meet you. I'm Hi. Matt. Hey, Matt friggin' Hart. That piece of pecan pie over there? That's my ride or die till the day I die. That's Miss Mildred. Best cook in county. This is my home, my business, and my gift to you. Welcome to the hard end. A gift from God, I would say. I didn't think I was going to last another minute out there. Hey, speaking of which, where did you come from? Ah, well, you see, my brothers and I had a ranch out by Muckberry. Truth be told, I was just looking to start over. Ranching is a good life. It's a quiet life. But you know, I've always had a passion, deep down, a passion for dance. And so a dancer I shall be. Did you say dance? Yes, sir. Do you think we could uh, <laughs> see a little something? Mosby, you know, don't put him on the spot like that. Come on. Ooh, no, no, no. That's OK. I'm not exactly shy. All right. receiver. I tell you what, we've been hearing around here, they're starting a national football league up north. You should be there, not here. It's almost ready, hon. All right, Chester, you heard the missus. Get your belongings, throw them upstairs, and do not take your time. I've been doing an immediate fast. I'm starving. Try to get back in shape. But come on, hustle up. Let's go. We got, we got hungry guests. Let's get it going. You're taking your time. What are you doing? Come on. I am so eager You're to You're in my humble abode. I'm, I'm on ketosis. Go. Let's go. I can tell. Jesus. You look great. Thanks.
bride or the wedding? Yeah. Oh, oh no, thank oh, you. Liquor insane. makes me terribly violent, but I fucking O'Doul's up. Excuse me, y'all. First and foremost, thank y'all for coming. I have good news. Supper is on the way. But we have a heart family and tradition. Before we eat, we must break bread and have a good sip of Mildred's homemade fine wine. Let's have a toast to our new friend, Chester Rogers. Here, 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 here. May you dance your way to Broadway. You, uh, expecting anyone, honey? No, darling. Uh, I'll see who it is. Take a look. May I help you? Why, excuse me, miss. Is this the Hart family inn? No, sir. I think you have the wrong place. Well, that is quite a shame. You see, my brothers and I, we've been wandering about, looking for some kind host to save us from this wretched cold. I'm sorry. We're a rather private home, and we're not trying to take in any strangers at this time. You're absolutely right. Where are my manners? My name is Hank. Hank McCall. And these are my brothers, Lucas and Leroy. We are good folk, morally right. And we are very appreciative, very appreciative to folk of the same standing. Well, come on in. You are too kind. What a lovely home. Can I offer you boys some wine, perhaps? That'll be just fine. Uh, see, we brought our own. Well, well, well. I thought you said this wasn't the Hart family inn. I didn't mean to fib, mister. Uh, we just had you figured all wrong. Well, how did you figure? Hold on, hold on, hold on, sir. We don't want no quarrels, but hear me out. A lot of people are going missing around these parts, and I got guests to take care of. Absolutely. The thieves, highwaymen, vagabonds, they're everywhere. Well, I must say, we are charmed by your caution and your consideration. We were actually referred here by a by a short fella. He, uh, he often wears a little hat. Um, charming smile, one you couldn't miss. Very friendly, family-like. Said he'd be checking around here sometime tonight. Have you seen him? Could that be Chester? Could it be Chester that you're talking about right now? Oh, it might be Chester. Where is he now? Oh, he should be any minute. Oh, that is wonderful. I'm gonna go see him if you don't mind. See, he's been a good friend of mine. Go to the back, huh? You know what to do.
so dangerously cold outside. Take it, please. Just take it, all right? Oh, we'll do just that. But first, we need to address the elephant in the room. Honest work for an honest pay. That's what father taught us. There's nothing honest about what we did, Hank. You know that. All the people we hurt. Right as you may be, it don't justify what you did. Selling your own brothers out to the law? Stealing everything your family has worked for? Just don't sit right with us. Father also taught us the oldest rule in the good book. And as you know, Chester, where we come from, snitches don't get stitches. They wind up in ditches. I'm your brother, Hank. We grew up penniless. Powerless. We sold our soul so that we may lift our head from the dirt. That money you got right there is more than just paper. Lucas, Leroy! Come on, guys. Please. Don't try to appeal to their warm hearts, Chester. Consequences have actions. And I'm here to pay the devil his due. Nothing personal, brother. We're taking that fucking bag, Chester. Someday, we'll all pay for what's happened here. But I got a wife. And children. I'm sorry, brother. Let's go. Motherfucker. Must be nice having brothers. Well, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, Matt. But I ain't the only one who's lost someone today. Your wife is gone. Miss Mildred? She had it coming for a long time. Matt? Where are the other guests? Our night is just getting started. Who the fuck are you? I'm Matt. Matt friggin' Hart. Me? I am more than lucky the way things turned out. You? <laughs> Not so much. A bullet to the head! Be too kind. I have money. Now, Chester, we both know that ain't true. And I'm a little more interested in something more tangible, something I can taste. I don't know what this is. You could not conceive what is about to come to you. Now, this, this is your last dance. What do you mean? I said dance, boy! What? That's all you got? Fucking psycho! You can't fucking dance! I'm not fucking dancing! Ooh. Nice move, son. You cater share a dance? What do you mean? What do you mean? Give me your hand! What? Give me your fucking hand! Okay! Come on! Okay. Oh. 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 Now, Mr. Rogers. Your stay at the Hart Family Inn it expires after breakfast. 
And I promise, I promise, I will cut you loose then. But until then, you are still my guest. Sound good? Please. I just want to start over. Now, Mr. Rogers, your little family reunion, that ruined my night and my wife's life. And all that pain we're going to inflict on those guests, whew, that's coming to you. <laughs> now this, this, this will be my masterpiece. Some would say biblical. Limb by limb. I didn't think it was time for that quite yet. We never know when it's our time. I've seen you in my dreams. I knew one day you'd come. We've come to take the house keepers. <laughs> Their crowns too sensitive for this mortal plane. But your soul will suffice instead, and can call. An eternity of pain will teach you the truth, as it did us. Bargaining here. What, what has been, been done can never be undone. Your soul is tarnished. There is no turning back from your sins. Only payment. This mortal plane. It is off the cult. One final question. Do you bleed? You cannot escape us. us. Nor do I intend to. I've gone too far. Worked too hard to quit now. Your soul is his. 
but these hills are mine. You tell the devil I'll pay my dues one day. But if he ever comes here again, he better come packing. Because Lord knows, I'll never go down without a fight. One day, you too will dark the mask. The shark will be yours. As long as it pays.